Hello and welcome everyone to day 69 in this quest for a 2000 rating on chess.com. Uh, so let's begin here. My opponent has played d4. We're going to respond with knight to f6. And uh, probably try and go for another Grunfeld, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what they do. Okay, so to do the Grunfeld, we kind of start out you know, like a King's Indian defense, but instead of playing d6, we go for d5. So let's see how they respond. All right, so they decide to play that. Uh, knight to f3, just a developing move. Uh, let's see. We can go ahead and fianchetto our bishop. And we'll just see. Okay, so they try something different here. Um, now... What should we do about that bishop? Do we continue? Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see here. Hmm. Well, I don't know. This could change things up a little bit. Do I still want to push here? not sure um also should i just attack uh, you know maybe i should just go right here and play d6 to block the scope of his bishop you know and prevent his knight from jumping forward um, now if i play d5 and let's say he jumps out here. Um, well, let's just go ahead and play that. I'm wasting enough time thinking about it. All right, so now do we just go ahead and castle? You know, that's probably the best thing to do. We'll just go ahead and castle. Okay, so this is interesting. They push forward here. All right. Well, you know, now should we go after the bishop? You know, that's a possibility. Um, do we develop this knight here? Let's see. Or do we push our C pawn? Okay. If we push the C pawn... Hmm. You know, or do we just develop our knight? So that's the question. But they could capture here, then we would capture. Uh, he could, well, he can't press forward immediately because of our attack on his bishop. Uh, so, hmm. You know, and maybe we want to pin the knight here. But then his queen could jump down here. All right, we'll just play that. You know, we're just wasting a lot of time here. So we'll play that, see what they do. Okay, so he jumps forward now. Um, now we could just go after his bishop right now so I don't know maybe we'll go ahead and do that just immediately go after his bishop then we'll 
jump our other knight up in here attacking his knight the problem is if we capture his bishop it'll pull his pawn here kind of really fortifying the center here all right so what should we do mm -hmm. I mean, now we could even try and just pin pin this, you know, but then he could try possibly to jump down here. All right, so maybe we should go after that knight. All right, we'll just go after his knight like that. All right, so here do we develop our bishop or our queen? Hmm. Might as well develop our bishop. Okay, so, you know, is that a good move or not? I mean, now our knight is kind of misplaced. So, you know, do we go ahead? Well, we could just chase him back. You know, do we want to do that? I don't know about that. Okay, maybe we pin. We'll go ahead and pin the knight to the queen. Hmm. Okay, well... Do we just bring our knight back now? Possibly. But where do we want to go with that knight later? Uh, we'll just bring our knight back. Okay. Then... I don't know. Maybe we knock out... We get rid of our bad bishop. Then... Let's see. We could push forward here. Maybe we do that. Just push forward. With that. You know, threaten to try and break the center open. All right, so we probably should capture towards the center or do we just maybe we just go this way attacking his queen uh well i don't know maybe we want to check him first keep his king stuck in the center maybe that would be a better move We'll go ahead and do that check and see what he decides then <sighs> you know he'll, should he swing over here you know then what should we try and do
Hmm. We could just check him again. Should we do that? If we check him again, then what does he do? Um, let's see. Probably want to keep our king now. Or, sorry, keep our queen now that it is out in the center there. Should we check that king again? Uh, I don't know. We'll do that. Bring our rooks to the center. You know, keep our queen to use for attack since his king is kind of stuck in the open there. All right, what did that do? Anything? Um, well, we might as well bring our rook into the game. Bring our rook into the game. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, now... Hmm. Okay. Do we go? Well, might as well play that to just fortify our center. Okay, now what? Should we go ahead, if we capture, he captures, we can pick off this pawn, but then he could come down here. But if he does that, we can check his king. All right, does that work? Okay, capture, he captures, we pick this off threatening to attack here. You know, then what do we do? All right, we're gonna go for it. We'll at least grab that pawn and threaten to attack him with a check. All right, so now, what do we try next? Is there a way to activate our knight? Is there a way to activate our knight? We have to do something about this knight. All right, or do we just push this pawn forward? Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. What else can we do? We have to do something about this knight. So, what can we do? Um... Uh, Hmm. Well, let's see, let's see. Ah, there's got to be something we can do. All right. Probably need to do something about this knight. I mean, I guess I should retreat back, then try and jump my knight forward, maybe. My queen is kind of out of play here, pretty bad. So, 
you know, what would be best? Um, if I jump my knight up here, All right, well, we'll just go there. We're just burning up way too much time. So we'll bring our queen up there, uh, see what he does next. Probably need to do something with this knight. You know, find a way for this knight to be activated. and probably need to get my king or excuse me my queen down here somehow uh, to take care of these uh, dark squares which are pretty weak yep and he right away he tries to go after them all right well let's see let's see What could he try to do? Go here and then bring this rook down here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could attack his queen. If I jump up here, attack his queen, you know, he could jump down in here. Then where do I go? I don't really... I mean, do I have much after that? All right, let's go here. See what he decides to do. What can we do here? Uh, okay, what are they going to do? Uh, well, he would probably try and bring his rook down at some point. You know, maybe just bring his queen down here. If we trade off and his rook ends up here, I'm pretty much forced to just go here to protect. You know, and then what? Um, I need to try and activate my knight. Hmm. I would have a pretty passive position if we trade off queens. So he may try and do that. Just bring his queen down here. You know, then what do I do? If I don't capture, he captures me. You know, maybe picks off or doubles my pawns up. So that's no good. So I'd probably be forced to capture his queen. He, yep, he recaptures with the rook. The rook ends up here. I have to go here to protect. Um, you know, then what? Hmm. All right, is there any other option besides trading off the queens? Do I have another option besides that? Uh, probably not. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just running out of time now. Uh, so, you know, what do we do next here? He's going to recapture, attacking this pawn. I'm going to have to come down here to protect. 
uh, you know, so I go ahead and do that. Now what? Will he just push this pawn to prevent me from moving forward? So now I could, ah, uh, here we go. He's bringing that in. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, do I have to bring my knight up the other way? But then he could just attack this. Now, do I drive this away? Um, that is the question. Well, might as well go there. I'm just burning up too much time. Okay, so he's probably going to just go here. Keep an eye on this pawn. All right, so if he goes there... What do I do? He might try and swing around on the other side. I need to get my king. Okay, I need to get my king over here. All right, if I go here, well, right now it doesn't matter because, let's see. Hmm, he can't really do much at this point. So, do I go this way? All right, if I move my king to f8 and he captures, I capture, and he goes this way, I have to swing back over All right, well. All right, I guess we're going that way. And we'll just see what he does. All right, all right. Hmm. Okay, we probably need to keep this Well, I don't know. Now we could just go after. Ah, I don't know. This is not looking too good here. Um, all right, we'll go that way. Get off of the light colored squares. And I don't know, maybe we can swing up here, but who have a discovered attack, then we would have to come back. All right. I don't know, it's not looking too good here.
Hmm. I don't know. This is not looking good at all. Okay, do we check him? If we check him here, his king just moves forward, then what do we do? We're kind of stuck. So, Hmm. All right, we'll just do that before we run out of time here. Before we just run right out of time. problem is his king can just swoop in here and just start helping his bishop pick everything off because our pawns are on the light squares. Hmm. It is not looking good here, not looking good. All right, this is just looking awful. Okay, uh, well, if we attack, he can just capture. We go there, capture, capture. We try and move forward. We'll just do that. All right, well, are we stuck doing that? I mean, do we have to capture that bishop? Otherwise, he's just going to pick off more pieces. Um, might as well do that. Okay, then... Well, we kind of have to go that way. All right. Well, we'll just do that. Start pushing those pawns forward. We don't really have much else that we can do, and we're going to run out of time anyway here. Hmm. Yep, it is not looking too good here. He can just move out of the way and start pushing his past pawn there in the center. Um, I don't know. This is looking pretty rough. I mean, hmm, all right, we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, well, at least we can try and get a queen out of this, but 
I don't know, it's going to be pretty rough here. All right, we go there. Uh, the bad thing is he's going to check us. So at least, well, I don't know. He can just start checking the crap out of us. Uh, just checking us all over the place. All right, what can we do here? And now, and what can our queen do to get into the game? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll do that. Huh. All right, we have to watch out or he'll just... He'll just force us to trade queens off, which, you know, is not what we want. All right, well, I guess we have to kind of go that way. I don't know. It's not looking too good. I'm trying to hang in there for my life. Um, if there was a way I could, you know, skewer his king and grab his queen. All right. Which way to go here? Which way to go? back up the other way, probably. Like that. If I could knock out this past pawn over here, that would, you know, help me out a little bit. All right. What can we do? Just keep chasing him around.
Mm. All right. Now, do we go there or do we go up the other way? Um, if we go that way, I don't know. We're running out of room. We probably need to keep our queen centralized. We have to watch out. He's going to try and block us and check us at the same time, forcing us to trade queens. Okay. So we probably have to go this way. All right, now what? Well, he can't check me, so I guess I can pick off another pawn over here. All right, now we should probably check like that. Check and pick off this past pawn. All right, at least we got rid of that. Now, what do we do? Just go there. And then, I don't know, maybe we can save a draw here. Because if he gives us time, then we can just start checking his king again. All right, what can we do? We need to centralize our queen. Uh, I'm gonna turn a light on, it's probably getting dark in here. All right, so we have to go this way pretty much. So we'll do that. Turn on some light. Okay, and he's just gonna try and check us again and again. So, I don't know, it's going to be a draw unless he tries to do something different. But as soon as he moves, then, you know, if he doesn't keep checking us, then that gives me an opportunity to start checking his king. Hmm. All right. Well, What can we do here? If he doesn't keep checking me, it'd be nice if he'd move to C7 here. All right, so he does that. Um, What should we do next? If we check him, 
then we move down there um, if we check him here and he moves here we could swing down here we need to centralize do we want to go here instead maybe we do that all right then if we go here um let's see we have to watch out that we don't allow him some crazy check you know here and it'll pull out a past pawn we don't want to allow that we don't want to give him an opportunity for a past pawn so we want to go here And then, I don't know, maybe we could just block with our queen back and forth here. Problem is, he could end up with a passed pawn out here. So I don't know if I should do that or not. If I, all right, so he's deciding to do that. Um, well, what should we do here? All right, we got to do something. We'll go there, try and get behind his king. Oh, man, I'm so low on time. I need to be careful not to run out of time here. All right, so that that helps us out. I guess I go there see what he does next oh he could threaten to checkmate me there so I definitely need to watch out but I can I can threaten a mate by going here So what does he do? He could threaten a mate by going here and checking me. All right. Um, what do we do? Do we check him? We'll check him to there. see what he does next all right now we can go there and check him 
pushing him away. All right, and then we can pick off, well, do we check him again? You know, or do we just pick off this pawn? Maybe we, ah, we'll pick off the pawn. All right, now what? Do we move forward like that? Maybe that works. And if he tries to come behind us with the pawn, we can just move here and protect. You know, so he can't get in behind us. All right, well, that helped us out because now we're going to force a trade of material here. All right, so we should be able to win now. Yep, all right, they resigned. All right, man, that was a tough one just hanging on after he had that crazy attack going. Ugh. And I don't know, that, that's something, you know, I talked about people using computers to cheat and stuff. I notice the computers have more difficulty in end games if they're kind of even. It's not always sure where to go. So, you know, I, I'm not saying the opponent did any cheating in this game, but um, that's one thing. The, you know, if there's crazy tactics going on, the computer will help, but sometimes in end games, it doesn't know what to do. You know, or maybe my opponent just had more difficulty with end games because they seemed to play pretty tough for most of the game and then they weren't sure what to do when we got down to the end there. I think they were trying to run me out of time as well. All right, we'll do a quick game review here. And uh, let's see. So, oh man, definitely have to take a look at what happened here. I had some huge advantage and then totally gave it away. Man, they were winning, then I was winning, and I gave that advantage away, and they were winning, and then the game was just even until the end where I came back. So, uh, kind of a messy game. So, I played at 82.6% accuracy versus their 77.4. And then, uh, I let's see, they had two great moves versus my four. And then... Let's see, 37 of the best moves they played. I played 36. Now, inaccuracies. They had three, I had five. They had nine mistakes, and I had two. Uh, they had one miss, and I had four misses. So we'll have to take a look and see what those were. And then they had a blunder. All right, even in the end game, it's important to keep your eye out for tactics. Way to go. All right, well, uh, let's take a look here. So we'll do the quick review and then we'll kind of you know, dig into the details in the analysis. All right, so the computer didn't like this move, saying it was a miss. So what did it think was best? Did it want me to immediately just capture the bishop? You know, probably. Yeah, so it wanted me to get rid of the bishop pair immediately. So the only reason I didn't do that, I thought, well, if they capture, then this pawn helps fortify the center. So then if I move my knight up, 
you know, well, I guess I could chase them away with this pawn, but then, you know, it leaves this backwards pawn here. Uh, but, you know, then maybe I could push it forward if I back it up enough. Anyway, uh, you know, something to look at in the analysis. So next we had a series of exchanges here. Now it didn't like this. I thought, well, I'll try and go after the open file. Uh, maybe it would have been better to, I don't know, immediately go here and target this pawn. But you know, they could defend that with the queen, I guess. Um, all right, so best would have been, huh, okay. Well, that's an interesting option. It wants me to push this pawn forward. You know, I guess they could just capture. And then, you know, then what do I do? I target with the queen maybe, but then they could just fortify. So I don't know if I would like that move. It just kind of gives up a pawn. I mean, I'm aimed at their queen, but they can just fortify that pawn with their G pawn. So, you know, another thing to look at in the analysis. All right, so we trade off. I grab one pawn here. Now it says the game is even. So, you know, where do we go from here? Just, we finally exchange off. I push this thinking, well, I better get off of the same colored squares as the bishop. Uh, but best would have been what? Uh, to push this, preventing uh, the king from getting into the game. All right. Well... A3, a great move. Okay, I like that move. Uh, threatening to capture and promote. You know, if they capture, then I push the pawn forward. Um, all right, so it likes this. And at this point, it looks like, hmm, I'm winning at this point. Okay, we're still winning. But it did not like that move. It did not like that. Okay. Well, what could we have done better there? Just move our king up and then they would promote to a queen. Oh, but if they promoted to a queen, we have this check on their king. All right, well, you know, that's something that I may have seen if I had plenty of time on the clock, but once I get down, you know, to a minute on the clock, I was just trying to hurry and not run out of time, but still. You know, I glanced at this possible check. So, all right, we'll take a look at that in the analysis as well. All right. So, you know, at this point, white is just winning. Until we get to this move, which allows me to pick off the pawn. So it says now... You know, the game is just even. So they move, I pick off this pawn, uh, and then they start checking me. You know, they could have got a draw right here, uh, but I guess they wanted to try and keep going for the win, probably trying to run me out of time because I was so low on time. Oh, and this it did not like. Okay. Did not like that move. Best would have been what here? Checking. If 
Oh, man. Yeah, that would have been a good move. That would have been a winning move. You know, something else that's hard to find with less than 30 seconds on the clock. Because if they go here, then I skewer the king and queen. You know, I check and the king has to move and I pick off the queen. Uh, they can't go forward. Well, backward, I guess, or towards my queen, of course. So they can only go here. That would lose their queen. And here would have been a checkmate. Hmm. All right. I guess I was in a hurry and overlooked that awesome move. Okay. Uh, well, at least we got a win in the end. So now, let's see here. All right. So at this point, they just resigned. I mean, they could, you know, maybe push this pawn forward. Uh, but then I could just move and push my pawn forward. You know, if they capture, I capture, and we have two pawns you know, against their king. Two pawns and king versus a king, and that should be enough to win if we're be if we're careful and we don't stalemate. <laughs> All right. So it says you had a pretty competitive game there. The opening was balanced. Both of you navigated the middle game well, and it says you outmaneuvered your opponent in the end game. So they played at 1600, and I played at 1800. Um, they had an opening accuracy of 83 versus my 85, 79.6 middle game versus 80.1, and in the end game, 75 versus 82. Okay, let's take a look at the analysis here and you know, see what we should have done. So D5, so here you have different options. Um, you can play, or sorry, they played D4 and we played, uh, or could have played D5, but I play the knight move, knight to F6. Here, um, this kind of this is a flexible move that kind of waits to see what your opponent will do. Um, you know, it prevents them from moving the e pawn, or you can just snatch that up. Um, so they'll usually move their c pawn to try and take control of the center here. Um, they could just play knight to f3 and then just wait to see what black does. Um, at that point, you might want to play d5 and you know take a share of the center. Uh, but in the game, they play c4. So you push your c pawn out, uh, and then your knight can jump in behind it and control the e square to allow you to push your e pawn out. And then you can have a you know a big pawn center that helps control a lot of squares. So uh, I play this move, getting ready to Fianchetto and be able to castle quickly. Um, you could, from this point, play a King's Indian defense uh, or the Grunfeld. Now here, computer says knight to c3 is best and knight to f3 is second best. So they play that. Uh, now it wants c6 here. Hmm. Instead, I play the third best move, just bishop to g7. You know, kind of waiting to see what they'll do. And then I'm ready to castle as well. So now, uh, they played bishop to f4, which is not even on the list here. It recommends an immediate knight to c3. Uh, even h3, which I guess keeps the knight from pushing forward maybe. Uh, or even allows you to push your pawn and then chase the knight, possibly. But that would kind of weaken your king side. All right, even e3, that's a recommendation as well. But they play this move, maybe kind of setting up a London system uh, if they you know, play e3 next. Um, let's see here. So d6 is the most recommended move. 
Uh, it didn't like this C5, or sorry, D5 move, which is what I played. It says that's good, but now the, the game has shifted in uh, white's favor. So here it recommends E3 is the number one move. Knight to C3 is second. And third would be to just go ahead and capture here, uh, which is a possibility. Hmm. Yeah, that might be why that move wasn't the greatest, because they could capture. And then, uh, well, okay, I guess it's all right, because I could capture and then attack their bishop. You know, if their bishop wasn't there to attack, then they could immediately push in the center and chase my knight away and gain a strong central pawn formation. All right, so they played e3, and now hmm, it looks like c5 is the recommendation. So that's interesting. You know, just immediately attack the center. You know, that way if they open things up here, uh, you could maybe try and activate this bishop up here and target this b pawn and the rook. So I castle, now the computer's saying that's best. They play what, knight to c3? No, actually knight to d2. And with that move, it swings the game back in black's favor. So here, the only move to keep me ahead is c5 immediately. Hmm. I'll have to remember that c5 move. You know, it looks like you're just giving up a pawn here, uh, but it does increase the scope of your bishop. You know, although they could try and block you with their knight or bishop moving in here. Um, anyway, c5. So that's what the computer likes best. Instead, we played this move. Now... White is in the lead, which just fortifies the D pawn. Uh, but looks like it would be better to just play C5 and break things open, especially with their king in the center. So that's another reason it would be smarter to immediately attack the center and kind of open the position up while their king's stuck out here. All right, so instead of that... Let's look at c5 here. We play that. Their best move uh, would be to go ahead and capture. So go ahead and capture. Now they've doubled these pawns. And we should go ahead and play... Hmm... At first it said knight to c6, but now it wants knight at b to d7 to immediately attack this pawn. So we attack the pawn. Um, do they try and protect? Uh, probably not, because then we could unleash our bishop on the rook possibly. You know, maybe move here, attacking their bishop. And attacking the rook at the same time. So they recommend just bishop to e2, uh, then knight to h5, immediately attacking the bishop. And computer says that should be ignored. And c takes d5, undoubling the pawns. Now we would capture they would recapture, and then we pick off the pawn, attacking the rook. They attack us, and then we just retreat back. Although, wait, now it's giving something different here. Rook to b1. Hmm, it's saying c6 would be better. That's an interesting choice. Just go ahead and attack here. And now, uh, moving the knight looks like it would be best. Knight to b6 or c5, either way. Um, third choice is just to pick that pawn off. All right, well, before I get too deep into that, let's go 
and check out um, you know, what happened in the game. We played c6 and they responded with knight to e5, which the computer does not like. So let's see why this was a mistake that swings the game back in Black's favor. And you know, obviously we didn't take advantage of it, I think. Um, so knight to e5, instead they should have just developed the bishop, get ready to castle kingside. Uh, then we should go ahead, since they moved the bishop once, we should capture the pawn uh, although it's also recommending this move, just developing our other knight. So after knight to e5, the best move is knight to h5. So we did start out correctly, but we just didn't follow up the right way. So once again, it wants bishop to e2. Bishop to e2 attacking our knight uh, and then we should immediately capture they would capture and now uh, let's see queen to b6 so we go here putting pressure on this pawn uh, and we're attacking this pawn so we're forking two pawns and it looks like Ignoring all that, well, not completely. It develops a piece, but it protects this pawn. Now this pawn is protected by the queen and the knight, and you could pick this pawn off. The computer recommends instead to just go ahead and capture. Or, sorry, not capture, but uh, not to capture, but to go ahead and check. So if you check and then trade off queens and leave the king stuck in the center. Huh. All right. Well, that's what the computer recommends. Just checking, trading off queens, leaving their king stuck in the middle. You have the bishop pair. Um, you still need to develop these pieces off the back row, though. You're a little bit... Uh, maybe behind in development there. All right, so in the game, we had uh, this move, knight at d to f3, and then we missed out. We developed our knight, but instead we should have, uh, once again, just captured, gotten rid of their bishop pair. They would capture, then knight to f6, chasing that knight out of there. Knight to d3. And then capture. Attacking the knight. The knight would jump where? To c5? All right, c5. Now we have b5 attacking our or protecting our pawn and finally bishop to e2 getting ready to castle and get that king to safety uh, but it wants us to do that and the best move instead of trading queens off it looks like it's better to just leave your rook trapped over here and play king to f1 Okay, back to the game. Uh, we were in this position. The knight moves up here. Uh, we developed our knight, which was the wrong move. So it allowed them to capture. That was best. Uh, we capture with the bishop, which is best. And now bishop to e5 is the best move. Now here, it looks like I should have played f6. f6 driving that bishop away all right but in the game i played 
bishop to g4 pinning was that even on the top moves okay that's the second best move so we pin uh, i thought they would develop their bishop and break the pin and i would have to trade my bishop for their knight you know and then i could try and pick this off all right so they capture it looks like i should have captured to you know captured their knight here and attacked their queen uh, but instead I played the second best move and now we have uh, a3 would keep the game even mm, let's see here so they played h3 forcing me to make a decision about this bishop you know I don't want to back up or I'd get trapped by the pawn moving to g4 so the best move is to go ahead and capture get rid of that knight to prevent it from jumping forward I guess um, and it's a defender of the king side so their best option would be to capture with the pawn uh, but in the game they didn't do that so that would keep the game close to even all right um, you know, and then we should play knight to f5, just jumping our knight up to the center. Okay. Um, hmm. So, best move here would be knight to f5, you know, and then what do they do? Play h4. Uh, no, now it's saying queen to b3 attacking this pawn here uh, and attacking in the center. Now it's saying it might be better to bring our queen up here to protect this pawn and keep an eye uh, here as well. Okay, so in the game they capture this way and this is a mistake. So now the best move is queen to a5, uh, which I did not find. So I should have immediately played queen to a5. I think I played that a little bit later. Um, but instead I played this move, which swings the game back in white's favor. I don't know. That move just kind of opened up my king. Um, you know, I was trying to gain some control in the center here, but I don't, this was a bad move. So immediate queen check would have been better. You know, that checks the king. The king's forced to move. Uh, well, we'll see here. So, they played. Uh, they should have castled. Looks like queenside. They should have just immediately castled queenside. Activated this rook, which is doing nothing. All right. So, that was a bad move. Queen to a5 would have been the best thing to do. And then, what, queen to d1, or sorry, king to d1, king moves over, and, huh, now it recommends e5 as the best move. So, the reason you want to do this is to try and start opening up the center while the king is just stuck out there. So I should have looked at that option. You know, I kind of just totally ignored that even after I did check in the center. So f5 is played. They played c takes d5, but bishop to d3 is better. You know, it helps defend the king. Uh, now I played queen to a5 with check, which is not the best move anymore. Now it just recommends e6, just fortifying this d pawn. e6, um, even knight to h5 to probably try and get my king or get my knight to swing back into here and maybe guard the center or jump up to e4 even. Queen to a5 is the third best move. So, you know, that's what I played in the game. Queen to a5 check. 
Uh, they play king to d1, which is the best move. And the computer says that's a great move. So now uh, c takes d5 is the best. So we find that. And now the computer wants bishop to d3 to be able to bring the bishop up here and help defend the king. All right, so, uh, but now they played that move and the computer doesn't like it. So let's look at that. Now it's saying that g3 would have been better. Interesting. g3. Huh. All right, we can take a look at g3. So it's saying that would be best. And then we would just play rook at a to d8. Protecting this pawn, uh, relieving the queen of guard duty, lining up on the king. You know, so then maybe you're thinking a you know, move like this. You know, and then if they capture, you just press forward and try and break open the center while the king is stuck there. All right, so now in the game, bishop to d3. And then... We played rook at a to c8, but f4 is the best move. So f4, um, and then they should play what? Rook to e1? Okay. Just activate the rook and aim at this pawn. Then we should go ahead and capture, attacking the queen. Queen has to move and would capture. And then the recommendation is to just what ignore this e pawn play rook to f6 man and then they don't even want us capturing here which looks pretty dangerous i mean i guess if you get down here uh I don't know, but then where does the queen go? You're attacking this rook. So they could just move back and attack the queen. All right. Or if they capture here, you could capture up here. You know, and that could be pretty dangerous. All right. Well... In the game, we had bishop to d3. I developed my rook to the open file, uh, which, you know, is not the best move. So king to e2, you know, trying to let this other rook come out. Um, now we played e6, but that is the second best move. Once again, f4 is what the computer likes the best. You're trying to break things open, attack the queen, break these pawns up a little bit around the king, uh, get some activity for an attack. All right, so in the game, uh, we played e6. They move forward, uh, rook at h to c1, fighting for this open file. The best move here is just knight to h5, trying to get this knight activated which, you know, I was thinking about that in the game multiple times, like thinking I have to do something about this knight on this terrible square here. So either knight moving here to h5, and then you can try and jump back into the center here on f6, or queen, what, to b4, attacking this pawn right here. All right, so... Now, the computer says that is the best move, just trading the rooks off. So I capture, uh, they capture, and we pick off the pawn, which is best. So here, their best move. Oh, man. It says the best move here is to just go ahead and play rook to c. Okay, rook to c2. I was thinking rook to c7, but it does say rook to c2. Uh, protecting the pawn. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so now queen to a5, knight to e8 even, which, you know, lets the knight jump up into the center here, you know, or even jump here or here. 
So I should have worried about improving the position on this knight. That really hurt me in this game. I could have lost because of that. Yeah, I should have lost this game. Um, queen to b3. So it really likes that move, saying it's best. Uh, we prevent this pawn from moving forward. You know, maybe I should have just started moving my pawn up. We'll see. Now, queen to f4, the best move. So this is an important move because I have all these weak, dark squares here. And now the queen can try and infiltrate, maybe jump here you know, and aim down towards my king. Uh, could even go here, keeping an eye on this pawn. Uh, you know, maybe jump down here, bring the rook down, and then go for some kind of mate down here. So, you know, that could be a little dangerous, although the computer says it's even here. And my best move is queen to b6, which I think I found that move. Yes. So I go down here uh, just to prevent the queen from trying to infiltrate into the position, especially if the queen goes here and then the rook manages to come down here and then the queen tries to go here, threatening a mate along the uh, seventh rank. All right, so next we have this move, which is best. And it looks like the best thing to do here is to trade off queens, which is what we did. Now our pawn's under attack and, huh. It looks like rook to f7 would have been better to immediately attack. So let's take a look at that. Rook to f7. And now they could jump down here and attack us. But then we could just block again. So it's showing rook to c8 is best. Um, then we would just block again. Rook to c7. So the game could have ended in a draw if we just went back and forth like that. Yeah, it just recommends going back and forth for a draw. Uh, so in the game, instead I go here, which is an inaccuracy, you know, not good. Um, so what do we do next with that? Um, so my opponent plays what? Bishop to b5, I think, and that's the best move. And now it is saying king to f3 immediately would have been better to just immediately get your king down into the position. All right, so here the best thing is g5 to keep the king out. But instead we attack the bishop. They jump in here, which is best, eyeing this pawn. And now um, a5 immediately would have been better. A5. Hmm. All right. So in the game, I just move my king over. Um, but once again, it wants that A5 move because you get your pawn off of the light square so the bishop can't attack it later. Uh, and then you could maybe even push this pawn. Um, well, I don't know. It's, it's pretty tough. Probably the best thing to do in the short term is to just put your pawns on the dark square so the bishop can't target it with the help from the rook. All right, so king to f3, the king starts moving in. And here, g5 stopping the king or, huh, I thought about this move, but I didn't think it was a good one. It says this is the best move. There, there, and then the rook captures is best instead of the king. But then we have, oh man, it says king to f4 is the best move here. Just immediately get that king down here and stop these pawns from moving. Target the center here. And now, um, you know, 
we could just pick off pawns as well but why even be in a hurry both these pawns are under attack so if the king moves forward now it looks like it does give us time to block there and then rook to c8 check um oh now the recommendation is rook to e8 that king to f7 is not as good huh yeah maybe because that king could drop down in there so rook to e8 uh, rook comes back up rook back up just going back and forth or you know the rook could just pull away we do still have this advantage here but their king is just threatening to jump down in this position and we have to be careful all right well let's uh get this moving and finish this video up so we play this move b6 it doesn't like that um you know it recommended what g5 to keep the king out but we played b6 um, the king jumps in here a great move threatening to infiltrate down into the heart of black's position uh, so now we played a5 but it likes b5 even better Okay. Hmm. The king moves in and now you know white is you know probably winning here. So we play b5 the best move. They capture which is best. Uh here the best thing is Oh man. I didn't even see that move. I could have tried to pin that. Oh, yeah, this is a good move. I don't know. I have a habit of overlooking some good rook moves. So here's another one I didn't even think about. The rook moves here. But they do have this move. Check. Uh, the king. Oh, that would be pretty bad king moves there then they could move here threatening to pick off because they have a discovered attack here and then the king would move back they could just go back and forth and cause a draw uh, you know or they could just pick me off here which you know that would be pretty bad they just trade rooks and then he can pick off this pawn and just be ahead in material. Ugh. All right. Well, back to the game. They pick that off. Uh, in the game, I get rid of that bishop. And so now I'm going to be behind in pawns, but with just rooks on the board, you have more of a chance of having a draw if you're behind in material than if there were the rooks plus the other pieces on the board especially leaving that bishop on the board with all my pawns on the light squares Ugh. all right so the king moves over to protect this pawn but it looks like it would have been better to push forward um, but i don't know because later in the game these pawns come in handy uh, but i shouldn't have got to that point anyway all right, so the king captures. Looks like it would have been better to just get in behind uh, the passed pawn here. All right, so I push forward. Now here, the king could probably have swung over here and just... I don't know, maybe threaten to get behind here. Going after this pawn. Uh, so we have king to c5. So I don't know, if he would have went to c6, that might have been more dangerous. The computer likes just immediately swinging over here. 
You know, and then your rook is just on guard duty. All right, so um, t -t 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 -t, what do we got here? We push forward. Rook to a7 would have been better to stop this passed pawn, this unopposed pawn. Uh, I guess it's not passed yet. But now a3 is a game or a uh, move that leads to a drawn game. You know, but of course, I didn't have a correct follow up. So it says they should have immediately pushed this pawn. Uh, but they capture. Now b3 is winning for white. But we'll see how I should have followed it up. I didn't follow it up the right way. So they push. I go. You know, they're about to promote. So the best move is to promote to a queen. And here they play the best move. But here I should have just moved my king off the back rank. And so it says moving here is even better. Uh, but this way moves, I guess, close to the pawn. But anyway, we go here. And now rook takes b8 is their best move. You know, then we would just capture and we'd be winning with the extra queen. Man, so they recommend rook takes b8, queen takes b8, and then running away with your king. You know, that looks ridiculous. You'd think they would promote, but then you have this move. You have rook takes c8. Now, if the queen captures like this, then you just you know, skewer the king and hit the queen. So once the king moves, you just pick the queen off. Another thing I should have seen, but man, I guess I let so much time run down and then you don't make the best moves when you're in a hurry. Okay, so rook to c8 was played and uh, here I went ahead and captured. So I went ahead and captured. Can I go ahead and check immediately? I guess they could move. Oh, they could go here you know, and check me. So I would have to Let's see. Yeah, I would have to move my king off the check here. Uh, so what I played was this, which is a miss big time. Now it swings the game in, uh, in white's favor. White is pretty much winning now because I'm under attack and they have this outside past pawn. So I move up. Um, they check which is best now king to g8 is what they recommend but i go to h6 i guess it's still okay they check i move back oh they wanted me to block with the queen but i don't know that would kind of weaken my pawns up i mean this queen would still be covering that but these pawns came in handy to run around and hide from my opponent's queen. So they check. What I really have to watch out for is that there's not a check that attacks my queen. If I would have been forced to trade my queen off, then they would definitely you know, just win the game. So I go over here. Uh, now, they should have just started pushing this pawn, but I guess that would give me time to check. But I don't know, white is pretty much winning here. They check, I move. Now finally they push that pawn. Is that the best move? Uh, no, they're saying I should just, uh, that white should check again. 
All right, so we go there. Now this allows me to check. Um, it actually wanted H5 here, which is interesting, I guess. Um, so they move their king. I check. So anyway, here I just start chasing this king all around. And I have to watch out that you know he's not able to block on this dark diagonal and check me at the same time. So block. Like I definitely do not want to go up here attacking and he could block and check me and then I would be forced to trade queens and just be lost. So we go down this way which is best. The king tries to run. It looks like he should have gone forward here. So that's interesting. Okay. So the best move uh, would have been king to d6, it looks like. So that move. And then what should I do? Queen to b6, just checking. Like this. King to e5. Cool, so they slowly get in here and limit the options on where my king can run to if the queen starts checking me again. So it's starting to get dangerous. So here, um, we have this move. And the king would run up to, well, over here to d5. And now d8, looks like. Uh, but anyway, yeah, white, if... Whew, if white played this better, I would have been losing. So in the game, we had king to d4. Um, I should have played queen takes g2 immediately here. Which I did not do. So I should have just picked that off. Um, then, you know, if they start pushing that pawn, computer recommends I just pick off another pawn. Um... And then what? I don't know. This is dangerous. This past pawn is just moving down the board here. The recommendation here is king to c5. What? It says that is the best. Oh, because of if I pick this pawn off, they could block with a check and we'd be forced to trade queens and then their other pawn would run up and promote. So that's pretty dangerous. The best move now is, man, queen to e1. All right, anyway, so that just gives you an idea of what could have happened. But this passed pawn is so strong. So king to d4, queen up to b2 check. The king moves to c5, which is best. And now we should have picked off this pawn. Um, but I played queen to e5 check. And king to b4. Here, queen to e7 would have been best. Queen to e7 check. But I thought, well, he can just run away. And now it's saying I should go over here. Uh, so anyway... We played this check, uh, they run up that way, but now it gives me the option to go over here, which I do, check, queen blocks, check again, king moves to c3, which is a mistake. So better would have been what? To block with the queen, protect this pawn. So then what do I do? Queen down here to b7. You know, or pick this off, but once again, this dangerous passed pawn. So, king to c3 was played, which is a mistake, because now I can just pick this off, uh, but, let's see, 
Well, I guess that is better than trying to go after this because right now the queen is protecting. So I pick off a pawn. Uh, now they play a5, but king up to b4 to protect this pawn would have been better. So they immediately push. That's a mistake. So what did we say? King to b4 would have been better to help protect this. And then I should play queen down to b7, checking. And then you have king, uh, where, to a3. Taking cover behind the pawn. Um, but we can still check with queen to e7. All right, in the game, they push their pawn. The best move now is queen to c6, which evens the game up, and we found it. So check. They move, and this allows us to pick off the pawn. So we go here, they block, and we pick off the pawn, which is the best move. So now the game is even. Uh, check, we run, check. So they just start checking us all over the place. They should have just taken a draw here, I guess. Uh, but you know now they're trying to run me out of time because they still have almost nine minutes to my one minute. All right, so check. Oh, so that is a blunder right there. A game losing blunder that I didn't take advantage of. All right, uh, what should they have done? Well, it looks like, you know, just checking. Queen, well, even this, queen to d4, check. They could have just checked me all around and tried to go for a draw. Uh, you know, but with this move, I should have played queen to e1 with check. So did I play that? All right, I did find that move. Queen to e1, check. And now their best move is to block with their queen which they did play. Um, okay, if they tried something else, oh man. Yeah, they have to block, because if they move forward, I had a chance to checkmate them with the pawn here. So they block, they found the best move. And now, Huh. Oh, man. Yeah, I missed this move. G5. Checking. Pulling the king away. And we could have just picked off their queen. So, you know, with 17 seconds left, I'm going to make mistakes. And I just didn't see that move. An awesome move here. We should have played G5. Check. You know, then what do they do? They either move or take the pawn, but the king has to move. The queen cannot capture because it's pinned by my queen. So, I don't know. You capture, and then that would have been an easy win. All right. So, in the game, after this blunder, we check. They block. Uh, we go ahead and pick off this pawn, which I believe was the second best move. Queen takes on e3. Man, too bad I didn't see that check by the pawn. All right, so the second best move that keeps black ahead. Uh, and now they should have played f4. What did they play? Uh, queen to c7 check. All right. So now my best move is to run up here. And now there's no more checks. Although he is threatening a move here with check. You know, two moves. If he could get to this f8 square and check me, that would be mate. You know, if my queen couldn't swoop in and block. Um, so now we have... Uh, 
Yeah, he could have made it tougher. If he was able to trade his queens off and you know have his king in here somehow and push this pawn, I, I don't know. Like It probably would be a win for black, but it would be a little tougher if the queens weren't there and his king was pushed up kind of holding my pawns back, especially if he could try and trade. All right, and if my king was behind my pawns. So the king moves up here. The computer says that's the best move. Uh, but now we have a winning queen to g1 move, which I did not see, which would have been an awesome move uh, because this either leads to a mate in one. If he goes here, we go queen to g5 mate. Uh, or if he goes out towards the center, we have this. Once he moves, we pick off his queen. So we messed that up. Black is still ahead, uh, but I don't know. It looks like he could have just started trying to check here. Just ch try to check me all over the place. So he played king to f4, and the computer's saying that's the best move right now, king to f4. So let's take a look at that. King to f4. But now it's saying king to g2. So if we look at king to g2. Um, it says that's best. What about that move? Oh, well, I'm in check. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm in check. So I got to do something about that. You know, he moves up here, and now we have, what, a check? Queen to h4 check. It says that's good, but f2 would have been even better. Uh, but I figured, well, I can pick off another pawn here. Uh, now we have this check, but I'm able to block. So instead of that move, better would have been king to f2. But I don't know. At this point, it's not looking good with his king wide open. Mine at least has some pawn cover. So now, just moving my king forward is best. Which I think I found that move. Yeah, so I just move forward uh, because I didn't want to weaken my pawn chain. You know, if... and. Possibly if I push the pawn forward, he could swing down here and start trying to check me. Um, so now it doesn't like that move. That's a mistake, and black is really winning now. Queen to c7 would have been better. So this, you're threatening to capture the pawn and you know, pick off the queen. So here, h6. So I remember seeing this in the game, thinking that I could have you know, just played that. And then what do they do? Uh, queen to c6, kind of keeping an eye on this pawn, I guess. Now it's saying it would have been better to go here. Uh, but anyway, white is just in trouble now. So in the game, this was played... Um, and here I'm just able to trade off queens. So, you know, that was the game, like really the final game losing move because, you know, we go there, capture, capture, and I just push forward. What does he do? Um, he has to back up and keep my king from moving forward. You know, which is what he does. But then I just go here and take the opposition. Now he can push his pawn forward, but I can just, I don't know, I guess move to the side and then push forward. What does it recommend? It says the game may have continued. Uh, recommends. Huh. All these moves are about even says the game may have gone like that with check. Now it's saying that's best. And I should just swing over. He keeps the opposition. 
Uh, but now I can just push forward and what now? King to G3. And what do we do here? Here it recommends actually capturing. So he captures. Then we move our king back and protect the pawn, but we have two passed pawns. So, you know, there's no way to stop both of these. So how might the game continue? Uh, well, king to f3, then king to g5, king to g3 maybe, trying to hold the opposition. Uh, but then we can just go there, king to f3, f4. So if they stay in front of the pawn, we just slowly push forward. Um, now what? If you try and keep the opposition, well now we can just play this. Maybe you try that, but then this pawn starts marching up. You know, and now what do you do? Back up, the king moves forward. Um, if the king goes here, you can play that. And now he has to kind of stay there to stop it. But it's just looking really bad now. You just push this, forcing the king out to e2. And then now you can just, um, well, either push this pawn or even just move up here and then push this pawn. All right, well, uh, the video kind of drug out a little bit. Uh, Thank you for watching. If you stuck around the entire time, please like and subscribe for those that haven't already to support the channel. Feel free to uh, leave comments, suggestions, or requests if there's something you'd like to see in the future. And thank you for watching and have a super chess day.